<laughs> you weren't lying about setting up a tax center. The key to running a successful black bag operation is plausible deniability. Which is why I stole all this shit from the FBI. <laughs> Things go tits up, those chicken dicks can deal with the fallout. Glad to see you haven't lost your touch. <laughs> if there's one thing I'm good at, it's fucking with Hoover's Ferry Brigade. And while you were convalescing, I did some digging around. Wanted to see if there are any local assets for you to recruit. I came up with three possibilities. Right now, my priority is getting the hollow out from whoever ended up with it. Figured as much. Patience? Well, I thought they fell apart after I put Baca down. Lucky for us, they're back up. And they're none too pleased that Sal gave Delray Hollow to the Dixie Mafia. Dixie Mafia? Georgie's idea. He's got him running heroin, trying to get everybody hooked. Motherfucker. I'll be damned if I let those coon asses destroy everything that Sammy built up. Who replaced Baca? Unknown. Managed to keep his identity a secret. Unknown? Even to John Donovan? Never thought I'd see the day. Well, I can't help it if I was born pigmentally challenged. So, you telling me my only option is to tail one of these Haitians? Hope he leads me back to the mysterious leader? Hey, it's better than no options. And once you've ingratiated yourself with them, you come see me. I'm finishing something up you're gonna want to see. They're flying James L. Ray back this week. Still amazes me they expect us to believe it was one man who did end Dr. King. It's too easy. Too bad. Let's say he was the one who shot Dr. King. Just him and no one else. What if it's really that easy to strike down a great man like Dr. King, President Kennedy, Brother Malcolm? Then nothing in this country will ever change. Now you struggle and you sweat and someone can take it all away just like that. Huh? Look! Oh. Look, 
Looking good, chocolate pudding. Maybe you can give me a taste later on. Suckers run this shit like clockwork. And we about to take them apart. If that don't work, okay, we just take run. a sledgehammer to the whole goddamn thing. For true. The thing that surprises me the most is how I'm much these here. crackers love black pussy. These crackers love enslaving African women. Let's get that street from the start. You do understand what we're doing here, right, Fred? Fight, fight, fighting for freedom. Food day. Freedom. We all want Dixie out of the hollow. Give me your boss and I'll make it happen. Fuck. Shit. Get to the voodoo shop. You'll find the boss there. Sorry about the headache, brother. Coffee? Nice trick you pulled back at the Haitian camp. Ten Mbaka was holding you prisoner. And I held you I did. It appears we both full of surprises. Certainly does. <laughs> what can I do for you, Lincoln Clay? I want you to help me kill Sal Marcano. I see. A few months ago, you was trying to kill me. 
Now you break in here and expect me to trust you? Now that Marcano's back in the Dixie Mafia, it's only a matter of time till they come for you. And when they do, they'll kill everyone standing in their way. Lest I hitch my horse to your wagon, so to speak. I'll see to it that you get the hollow. After that, depends on how things shake out. Do you know why Sammy and I were at war? On account of you going after the lottery? Please. Just because you don't want to face some uncomfortable truths ain't a reason to act naive. Sammy and I were fighting because the people in Dahala deserve better than a two-faced old man who handed out cans of food whenever the mood hit him. Who always did what Sal Marcana told him to do, even if it pitted him against his own people. He did the best he could. And yet his best didn't amount to much, did it? Once I have the holler, I run it as I see fit. No questions asked. As long as you give me access to your muscle, your connections, and a place to hold up from time to time, you can do what you want. Marcana replaced Sammy with a man named Richie Doucette. Do you know of him? Assume he's Dixie Mafia. He's a wooster! Likes to kidnap black teenagers and take them out to the bayou. After starving them for a few days, he cuts them loose, tells them to run. Sometimes he brings out the dogs. You know, for old time's sake. That's how he killed my sister. This is all I have left. How do I find him? It's still dangerous around here for him, so he stays on the move. But his men operate out of the community church in the old theater, Pearl, as it used to be called. It was named after Sammy's wife. I'm taking it down first. One of my men have been staking it out. Seeing what he can learn about how it's being run, you should talk to him and see what he knows. Once I deal with it, I'll see about the church. Truck, what happened to your store? Government shut me down. They don't want niggas buying guns. Where are we gonna start shooting the hell out of white folks or some such? Motherfuckers. Tell me about it. Let me know if you see something you want.
Linker, you a sight for so eyes. Laveau, been a while. Wasn't expecting to see you working with the Haitians. It's either this or bow down to them fucking coon asses, and you know I ain't ever been one to bow down to anyone. <laughs> ain't that the goddamn truth? Cassandra phoned ahead. Say you going out to Perlis. Asshole named Merle Jackson runs it. Turned it into a brothel. Let's white fellas come in and do whatever they want to our young sisters. How do I get to them? You don't. Not yet, anyway. A lot of those Dixie fucks try to stay out of sight. There's someone put a bullet up their ass. If I hit his operations, he'll have to come out and deal with me. I got an idea how to get his attention. He got some girls locked up on the second floor of Perlis. Calls them his thoroughbreds. Has them strung out on all kind of shit. He makes a lot of money off them. Go in there quiet. Get them out of there. I'll let you know when it's done. Hey, uh, I'm sorry to hear about Sammy Nellis. They always did right by me. Mr. Laveau told me you'd be coming. The girls are upstairs. Be careful. Merle's people are all over the place. I will. Thanks. Damn station. Now I gotta listen to nigger music, hippie music, all kinds of bullshit. Now you could always turn it off. Where's my goddamn radio? That's a mystery. Oh, and look at her. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you then, man. Guess your ass is finally gonna have to learn to read it. Sucker, believe that. Ain't safe here. Hey, off the street, off the street. We have to go. We have to get out of here. On me. Huh? God damn, girl. God. She's right, fuck! 
stuck in there! <laughs> Goddamn pussy. It's done gone somewhere. Find him, boys. He's still here. I was hoping we'd find an animal back here. Run that motherfucker out of here. Oh my god! They... What they going for? Moving behind something. Spread the word. Any woman needing help should go to the pierced heart. Thank... Thank you! Sending this fucker to hell. You killed him. You should kill all of them. Every last one. Get out of here. Now. What do we have here? Joke on this shithead!
Send him down! Oh, oh. I'm calling the police! Maybe I should get out of here. Come for your lives! There you are! I got a little something for you. You've been running around so much out there, I figured I'd make your life a little easier. You can use this to call on your support. And here I was thinking you were a heartless asshole. Mm, jury's still out on that one. Looking pretty lively for a dead guy. Lincoln, you a sight for so eyes. I freed those women. God damn, if that place in the hellhole. Paint you to see what those redneck fucks are doing, doesn't it? Soon as I get my hands on Jackson, that all comes to an end. Merle's got pimps scattered around the hollow. Is leaning on them to make up for what he's lost. Kill them, and he'll show up at the club. All right. When you're dealt with them, come back. I'll be able to confirm that Merle's over at the club. Sometimes folks just need a person to get in their face and shake them out of their slumber. Remind them that life is Hey there, where you going? Want a date? I'm thinking we ain't alone. Not a goddamn peep.
peaceful night's going to shit. Come on out, boy. Excuse me. gonna get all right. We're raising a generator. Really sensitive assholes who've never separated from their mama's teeth. There's a whole lot of folks talking about race. Run! Run! Oh, shit! Huh? He's here, right? Never gonna be free from me, boy.
for him later. What was that? today.
thinking? You a sight for so eyes. Merle's holed up over at Perlis. What I hear, he's pissed as all hell. <laughs> Wish I could see that asshole's face right about now. Just so we're on the same page. Once I'm in there, I'm killing any motherfucker who gets in my way. Ain't no one shedding tears for those pricks. You do what you think's best. I'll be seeing you, Laveau. Could use some supplies. Heard you were the man to talk to. Cassandra said you might be coming. I'm happy to help, but I ain't running no charity either. Everything you see is for sale. Show me what you got. Done. All units, search is called off. Repeat, abandon search. Return to patrol. I just can't believe one of those jiggable motherfuckers has the balls to come after us. Just a local color showing they're upset. Look at that crazy Keep trying. us. Who's... Oh, 
Soy Biden. Boy's gonna be running all his God damn it, he's gone. Damn nigger just strolled on through here without a care in the world. Do it! Gone, gone. Oh. Oh. this mongrel down! Surprise. Help me out here! Well, what you gonna do, nigger? This. Dixie motherfuckers are out of pearlers. Have your men come lock it down. Motherfuckers out of the church, and Richie will have to respond. In uh, 1966, the FBI recruited me out of college. Uh, Chicago was my first assignment, but I was transferred down south in 68. I stayed there until 86, uh, when I was promoted to uh, assistant director of the criminal enterprise branch. I stayed with the Bureau until my retirement in 1999. There are so many stories about Cassandra. Um, as a girl, she was kidnapped, killed, and brought back to life by a voodoo priest. She watched swamp rats rape and murder her sister. She shot her own father and dumped his body in the swamps. It's impossible to know what's true. In hand, and he proceeds to <clears throat> unzip himself. I didn't know what to do, so I just sat. Community needs this place, Mr. Clay. It's not for me. A place for folks to forget their problems and have some fun. Earl, I would have been proud. No! 